Yo, 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 today we are looking at the Batman villain, Arkham Knight. He's the bad dude in the game, Batman Arkham Knight, which came out in 2015. We're going to look at this dude and see if he's any good. Spoilers if you haven't played this game, but it's been like five years. So uh, let's make like Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson and get into it. So this is complicated because basically he's Red Hood. I, I won't get too into Red Hood's origins because that's for another day. But basically, Robin gets clapped by Joker. He comes back and is is naughty now. That's Red Hood, and and Red Hood is Arkham Knight. If I got further into the origins of Red Hood, I would say it's a solid origin story, and it makes sense for him. However, it doesn't work as well for Arkham Knight, and here's why. When the design came out for Arkham Knight, it made him look really interesting, and the creators also said he was a new character made specifically for this game. It was exciting theorizing who he might be. He could be Bruce's son, some other relative, but halfway through the game, it gets pretty obvious that he is Red Hood. That's why I was pretty disappointed in that. It might be cheating a bit, but in this case, the origin of the character's creation kind of gets in the way and affects him. I can't enjoy the character's origins because it's so disappointing. As far as the character's actual origins of being Red Hood, like, it's fine, but still, why not be Red Hood? Why be Arkham Knight? It kind of makes the character's existence pointless, and this sadly sticks with you throughout the game. As far as character goes, he's cool, like, I guess. There's not much to him besides being this military dude who really hates Batman. Granted, I do like the scenes where he's explaining like how much he knows about Batman, and that's pretty interesting. In fact, the best part of the character is the mystery of who he is. Throughout the whole entire game, you're like, I wonder who this guy is, and that's really interesting. Sadly, that makes the reveal all the more disappointing. I like how he's hyped up to be this badass with an army, and he backs it up. Like He even takes Batman down. I really enjoyed that scene, and it's nice to see villains back up their reputation. Uh, 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 Nazgul's. The performance is good, with Arkham Red Hood being played by Troy Baker, who is always a win. Although, I'm not such a big fan of his reasons for hating Batman. It seems a little illogical, and going to the lengths of forming this ruthless militia is a bit, like, it's just a bit much. There's a lot I like about Arkham Knight, with his design, voice, and performance, and, like, he's a badass. But there's also a lot of things I don't like. He's just a copy and paste of Red Hood, which takes away so much from his character. And some of his motivations don't seem natural. And especially the way he turns good in like five minutes after like finally really coming face to face with Batman. Didn't really like it. So like I said, the scenes where the characters speculate who he might be, those are awesome. There's one where he's like, hey, shoot Batman in the elbow. He's weak there. He has a few solid scenes throughout the game. And just because he's a letdown doesn't mean he can't do some cool things. The best scene, though, is when he actually takes down Batman because it's always awesome to see a villain do that. Like, anyone who takes down Batman, they deserve some respect. Like, they must be gangsta up in the club if they're taking down Batman. Just saying. Of course... The scene where he reveals himself is kind of whack, and he's kind of whiny after that, though. Like, Batman, uh, you don't understand me. Besides that, though, when he's Arkham Knight, he's actually kind of cool. The Arkham Knight's weird. I actually like him when he's Arkham Knight, but he's not really Arkham Knight. And once it's revealed who it is, it kind of takes away from that. He's a badass, and it's clear. However, the whole army seems a bit much and easily avoidable, like... Dear Batman, bro, why you gotta do me dirty like that? Oh, I thought you were dead, lol. Lol, nah, I'm alive. Like, you could have avoided the whole entire thing. He does have a cool design, though, and the performance is good. It's just the fact that who he is makes him so much less interesting by the end. It hurts him overall. Like I said, Jason Todd has a solid origin story, but that's not what we expected from this. We expected something else, and not in a good way. A new Batman villain was promised, and we didn't get that. What we got was just kind of a letdown. Arkham Knight gets a six. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing and whatnot. Arkham Knight's a pretty good game though, and I'd recommend it, especially now because it's not 60 bucks. It's probably like under 20. I'm not sure if Red Hood is a villain or an anti-hero, but either way, he has to be better than Arkham Knight, right? 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 Tune in next week to find out. Do your move before you do. We know how you think.